G'day, welcome to North East Campers, I'm Adrian. Today we're going to be doing a tour of our 2021 model Condor, the, fam the ultimate family version. So we're going to take you for a tour around the outside and show you some of the stuff on the inside. So follow me around here. Right up the front here, we've got a couple of gas bottles to uh, kick us off. So we mainly use these for the, the sh hot water in the shower and the fridge, um, especially off grid. So don't need it at caravan parks, but when you're camping off grid, that's what we use to get us all fired up. We also have at the front here a diesel heater, so also really good for those cold mornings or uh, frosty yavos when you're out the bush and off grid. Quite easy to, to run, we'll show you on the inside when we get into it. So, as we uh, make our way around here, we've got a, our tunnel boot right here at the front. So, as you can see here, we, we equip all the vans with everything you're going to need. So, we've got ramps and chocks and tow ball locks, we've got little steps. This is a little box for the awning kit, so you've got guide ropes and also little horseshoe frames to help put your ropes on, all the pegs. And then there's another tunnel boot on the other side, which we'll get to that when we make our way around. If you happen to have a web or anything like that, we've got a gas bane out there that you can just plug straight into. Um, and as you can see here, we've got the stabilizer legs. So when you first park up to your site, you drop your jockey wheel down, get it all nice and level. And then all you do is just pull this out, drop the leg, then you use your, your leg winder and that stabilizes all four sides. So, keep you nice and strong on the inside. All right, moving around. So, we've got a couple of lights on the outside. So, when you're camping at nighttime, you've got a bit of vision there, and you also got one here, so you can leave as just a bit of a, a night door light there. Picnic table, drops down. You've also got connections here if you want to bring your TV outside, so you just plug that in. Uh, you can get this 240, that's the mains, or you can go through 12 volt. A uh, couple of speakers here as well, so you can run the stereo inside and outside. This here is for your toilet. So if you do end up using the toilet, we ask you to empty it. So quite easy, all you do is pull up that tab, it slides out, go to the dump point, drop it in there, put a little bit of water, back in there and we supply more tablets so you can put in there keep it smelling nice and fresh all right as we move around uh, just got a spare wheel there in case it ever gets pulled upon and as you can see around here we've got some fittings so this here is where you connect your grey water hose to so it's just got the coupling where you just crack it together, we supply all these hoses. So, and then up here is where you feed your, your hose, which runs your main water. So once that's plugged in, you don't need your pump on the inside, it just runs straight direct to your van. Yeah. Then as we get to here, these are our filler tanks. So we're running two 95 litre tanks here. So they will come full um, and you really only need them for off grid, as we said, otherwise you're connected to the mains the whole time. along here so this is our other side of the tunnel boot so so again all your hoses are and electrical lead is here we've also got five camp chairs there a couple for the adults three for the kids also a trestle table so everything you could possibly need when you set up so you don't have to bring anything if you're at the caravan park or a backyard this is where you plug your your electrical lead into and that livens everything up and also charges the battery does also come with solar, so if you are off grid, it generates itself as well. Okay. On the front A frame, we've got an external tap as well. So if you're plugged in, if you're off grid, you do need your, your pump on for that to, to work. All right, let's move around on the inside. So this door is actually comes with a triple lock door handle. So to open it, it's as easy as that. But to lock it, you actually need to turn the handle left. So that makes it solid and then you can turn the key. So if you open it like that and you close it, it actually only half closes until you actually turn it left. So, and then if you wanna, if it's hot day and you wanna 
Um, open that. Then you've got fly wire. And then it just pegs straight back together. So that was that little handle there. Just lift that up and the door separates. All right, come on in. So up the front of the van here, we've got a nice big queen size bed. Uh, also got the TV, TV DVD combo that runs off 12 volt up here. So you can swing around to the lounge or obviously for the bed. Got skylight up here and windows that open all the way up. So up in this box, these are all your gauges and switches and everything that runs the van. It'll always be preset, so you shouldn't need to get in there at all, but just in case you need to. It's a big cupboard up there. Over on this side as you walk in. So we have our gauge here. So really simple. It's the first one's a water gauge, which it stays on, and we only run off the first two tanks because there's two. At the moment, as you can see, they're half full. If you hit that button, it also turns it over. As you can see, the solar's starting to kick in a little bit now, and um, charging that battery just by sitting here. This black switch here is the outside speaker, so you can isolate that if you want to only have the music on the inside. If you want it on both, inside and out, just hit that flip switch down, and it runs outside as well. Moving around up here, <clears throat> we've got the stereo, Fusion Stereo, so you can tap in a Bluetooth as well as you want, or just a bit of uh, radio playing in the background while you're relaxing. Nice big L-shaped lounge here. Spot on table. Then over this side, got our normal sink, just like home. Rain short, cooktop. And there we go. So we've got three gas burners here and one electric. So that electric only works if you're plugged in the mains, but this gas can work the whole time. So obviously just turn your gas bottle on, turn it over and hit your piezo and it'll start up. You got your oven there, which is gas as well. Alright, back here. So we've got a microwave. This is one of the only, there's two things that work on power only. The microwave is one of them, so you have to be plugged in. And above us here is a split cycle, reverse cycle split system. So aircon and heating, all done by remote, but does need to be plugged into 240 volt or generator. <clears throat> Next along, we've got a fridge freezer. So great space, plenty of room. Now these are quite easy to work, so at the moment I've left it off, we're going to show you how we've turned the gas on, just to give you an idea. You hold the power button here for two seconds, it'll light up, and we leave it on automatic usually, and what that's found is the flame, so that means it's gas, and you probably can't hear it, but at the moment it's just ticking away, it'll light up, and then that's how it works. So if you plug into the caravan park, automatically it'll go to the power lead function and that means it runs off power so if you want to change anything all you do is just press that as you can see it's flashing that means it it's not working so as soon as it gets onto a source that it can find that's when it'll start loading up and then you can just change your settings just like that if you ever need to turn it off all you do two seconds again and off it goes <coughs> inside here we have our triple bunks, so over here, all made up, got your linen towels, the works, so the kids pop in there, plenty of storage in there for all their bags and clothes. And then on the inside here, we've got a nice big shower. Shower there. Don't forget to open your vents when you're I'm gonna shower there, let that hot steam get out of there, both above the toilet. So we've got the vanity here and toilet down here. Now to use the toilet, um, as we, we showed you on the outside, it's got the cassette. And then all you do, you lift, lift the lid. And what you need to do now is there's a little trap door down here, which you can see, you open that, use the toilet, you then flush, so you press that. And once all the water's finished, then you just close that trap door lid again. Just like that. All 
Alright, we're going to take you outside now and give you a run through on the awning. So, the awning can be done with one or two persons. Um, pretty simple once you get the hang of it. There's two things you need to know at the start. So, we have a travel lock here. So, all you got to do is just push that little slide up and undo the black turn knob. So do that both sides. Undo the knob and slide that black bit up. Up the top here, we've got a little switch. So just gotta pull that down. So that releases the awning lock and then so with that. So because we pull that switch, it's not going to retract. So it doesn't matter if your phone rings or, or whatever it might be, it's not going to fly back on you. So just pull that all the way out. You can leave that there while you're setting up. If it's quite windy at some point, try and pop them away because they can fly straight over the top. All right, so once you've got it out, next step is you slide this black arm all the way up and there's a black button inside of here. All you do is just depress it and that'll slide over the top. So we do that both sides and then we get this handle and there's a little trigger handle in close here. So to extend it, we lift that black handle, lift this, and then with the second hand, you slide it up. So it's nice and easy, it's not hard. So if it's not working, you just gotta lift that trigger finger a little bit and move it so it does, it's not stuck in a hole. There's all pre-drilled holes so there you go slide up and it'll find its spot so you do that both sides and once you're in the spot you, you like you then tighten that turn knob again so that'll brace the whole awning into that one thing and then you get your, your um, awning box out you put your little horseshoe um, mold around that and then your guide ropes come straight off there with your pegs okay. then to pack it away it's exactly the same as when you fold it up. So to, to lower this, you pull your black handle, get your trigger finger, and just, just slightly lift up, and that releases it. It pops down like that. Press that black button, and your arm will slide in all the way down. Then to fold it up, you just take that bit of pressure here, and flick that switch like we did at the start. And then you want to come over to your, your rope. Right. It gets about a foot away, you just actually let it go. Okay. And then same as before, do your black turn knob up. And then you might just have to hold that arm in a little bit, but then it'll just slide in like that. Do that both ends and it's all locked away. So. That's about it for our tour of the Condor. Hope you enjoy your camping. Thanks for watching.